All right, another successful mission. Squirrel needs his own Christmas tree over here for the meet and greet. I think so. I think we're gonna make that happen. We'll Four of you have tried to kill me in the past. One of you succeeded. Oh wow. Do you think the people on the moon ever look over and say, wow? It's a full spaceship Earth tonight. But welcome back to the sign, welcoming you to Universal Orlando Resort. Terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Scooby. We're here at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort with the newly opened. Kona, I don't remember what it's called. Good morning, Magic Crew. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy Pi Day. We are live today, March 14th. 3.14 glad you guys could come in for a little slice with us here today at disney's hollywood studios coming to you live from the walt disney world resort here comes our trams everybody get their hands out there give big wave Trams traveling up to and even beyond almost 1,000 feet from the parking lot <laughs> to the park here. Good morning, welcome in. If this is the first time you've ever joined us here in an ear to ear magic live stream, hello, my name is Chris. Thank you, Tram. I am your Disney travel agent in the parks and your camera operator for today's live stream. We're glad you guys could join us here as we present daily weekday live streams from Walt Disney World and Universal theme parks with a family friendly atmosphere. Our job is to bring you to the park, show you what's going on, talk about the attractions, the crowds, the weather, the news, what's coming up, what's to know about being in the parks, and giving you guys a chance to hang out with like-minded, theme park loving, vacation friendly people. So we're glad you guys could come in today. And if this is the first time you've ever joined us here on Ear to Ear Magic, we would love for you guys to take a couple of seconds and hit that subscribe button. Now, I am coming up to security. We do not film or record any video or audio from Disney security. So I will be putting you guys on a slight hiatus as I go through. And as soon as I'm done, I will be back with you guys in the chat. We'll make our way into the park. 
beautiful looking day today. All right, guys, keep chatting, keep having fun with the rest of the crew. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. That's hilarious. Cast members like, good morning, I know you now. Good morning. How are you? We're good, how are you? Good, thank you, finger right there. Oh, is that the same finger? Oh, That's okay. always the same finger. Let's tap it in. Do I not have a park reservation oh, it's a for park today? Pass. Yep. Did you make a park pass for today? I thought I did, but who knows nowadays? I come right, every so single day, so I can jump back on and make one, and I'll, jump, I'll come if right back in. You can do it. Come back and I'll No problem. I do it all the time. I got to take care of myself. Got to get it done. I'll get myself a park reservation. Ooh. Still got to do it every so often. Thought I already had one for today. If you have a dated ticket, when you buy your tickets and passes, you don't have to have park reservations, but annual pass holders do. So before I can do that, I'll have to sign in to Disney Wi-Fi. Do. It's really easy and fast to do, but oftentimes I try to have these things ahead of time. And I'd rather just step out and make it again and jump back in the line as opposed to making a cast member come over. Disney, I'd like to come into your park to use the pass that has been for to to be paid for. Please. Wow, that's oh, haha. -ha. I did have a pass for today. I just got one part, I think. I'm not sure. Sorry about this, guys.
the way, there are no park reservations for Animal Kingdom at this point. That's really weird. But, you know, we're getting into the spring break time. It's gonna get busier. All right. Let's bring this down. One more time. There we go. Thank you. What do you got in? They still let us in. We just have to ask permission. Please. Happy birthday, James. Everybody say cheers and happy birthday to James today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to James. Happy birthday to you. Woo! There was somebody else's birthday in our crew today as well. I was hoping to catch in the tent today. Let me step to the side and get out of everybody's photo pass photos. I'm already in Vicky's from the other day in Epcot. Good morning, mouse ears and beers. Welcome in, guys. How you doing, Jill? Welcome in, Lone Wolf. EXP626, good morning, good morning. Good to see you, Jared. Welcome in, Jennifer, Terry, Gina. Happy Thursday, guys. Pickle Shake, you should have asked your travel agent how to get park reservations. Oh, I know how to get park reservations, just whether or not I got it on my list. Sometimes I got too many things in the works, but most of the time I get park reservations ahead of time. What really messes us up here lately, Pickle Shake, is, you know, instead of it making it easier by giving us the good to go days, good to go days are annual pass holder days where we don't have to have park reservations. It actually kind of messes me up because I'm here every weekday, Monday through Friday to stream with you guys. And then when you sometimes come in and go, well, you don't need to get reservations for Tuesday. Well, you know what, it's just easier just to make me get reservations because it's just part of the process. And you start throwing in random days where I don't have to have it, it messes me up. Welcome in, Michelle. Good morning, Bren. And Frognito, good to see you. Welcome in, D. Everybody say, uh, before you even hit the thumbs up button today, make sure you say happy birthday to James E. It makes your thumbs up that much more powerful. Good morning, John the B. Yeah, I need to use my travel. Well, my 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 I I I have to kind of do my own. My travel agent's really busy and helps everybody else. How are you doing this morning, Alan? So let's get a little business out of the way here first thing this morning. I don't know, I actually, you know, bothered to get my park reservations today. Uh, first of all, let's talk about our weather. High of 86 today. Only a little bit of clouds. You can see just a little, little sliver here and there. It's gonna be a nice day today. Tomorrow, high of 89. Saturday, 88, 89 on Sunday, and then Monday we're gonna get a little bit of spring showers. And Genie Plus for today. Please notice the multiple parks, not available, already sold out. You know it's gonna be busy when they actually sell out of the limited number of Genie Plus today, $35 is still remaining for Magic Kingdom, 28 for Epcot, 32 for Hollywood Studios, and 25 for Disney's Animal Kingdom. At this point, if you're coming into the parks, you cannot purchase a Genie Plus for multiple parks. So if you're park hopping, 
Make sure to choose your first park wisely. And as we come in today, I'd like to say a very special happy Pi Day to everybody. If you are part of our Magic Crew cast, it's our YouTube membership program for support of the channel. Um, Susan has uploaded uh, a new emoji for you guys to use in the chat. Anytime you want to uh, wish anyone coming into today's stat a happy Pi Day. It's March 14th, that's 3.14 first numbers of Pi. Math, math, it's going to be mathematically delicious today, depending on how you want to celebrate Pi Day. Just don't do it over at the Trolley Car Cafe because there's already a line out the door and down the street. All right, let's see about what uh, we can get into the park and have some fun. Let's see what our crowds are looking like today. Look at our wait times to kind of get an idea of what it's like to come during spring break. So currently in, in, uh, in our Hollywood studios, it's the new Star Tours, 55 minutes for Millennium Falcon. It is also 55 minutes for Tower of Terror. Oh, it just whoop, it just dropped down to 45. Never mind. Toy Story Mini is 60 minutes, 65 for Runaway Railway, 80 minutes for Alien Swirling Saucers. Wow. Oh, that's an hour and a half, almost. An hour and a half for Alien Swirling Saucers. 100 minutes for Slinky, Lock, so, Slinky Dog Dash, and two hours and 20 minutes right now for Star Wars: Rise of the Resistance. So it is a busy day already in the parks this morning. Now for those who are coming in today, Susan will be in in a bit to throw in a lunch poll so you guys can choose what we're gonna do and what we're gonna eat today to celebrate Pi Day. But I think she's on the phone and working with our Virgin Voyages rep and doing some last minute planning and taking care of some things for some upcoming trips and some other things that we deal with. Um, the good thing is when you work with us as uh, your travel agent, we have connections to our representatives who are helping us to take care of our clients when it comes to certain companies like Virgin Voyages. So it's nice to have constant communication making sure we can get questions answered, things addressed, and have uh, some areas of resolution if anything were to pop up. So keep an eye out. We'll have a lunch poll a little bit later on this morning. We are fully into spring break. So for the next three weeks, guys, be prepared for our live streams as always to be very fluid. If we can get some short wait times, we definitely wanna get you on some attractions, but we're not gonna make you stand in line for two hours. We will find other things to do and just to show you the sort of the update of how things are going in the park, so. Good morning, Sylvia. Welcome in, Haley. How are you doing this morning, Dave? That's awesome. Thank you so much, EXP626. Been in the Magic Crew cast for nine months now. That's awesome. Quaharini just tipped a $3.14. Hey, pal, to the community. Happy Pi Day, y'all. 
Thank you so much, Guajarini. Because we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We got a PayPal for pay Pi Day. For the Magic Crew. So I think I want to start heading down Sunset first. And we'll, we'll make our way around the park and see how everything's going today. Thank you so very much, Guajarini. Let's pop this guy right up there. And uh, I think um, uh, do you think uh, Liberty would like to make a Pi Day sticker? Anthony said. Well, I threw one uh, together, and there is one in there. Uh, Liberty would rather eat a Pi Day sticker than probably make one. I mean, she'd probably like to make a pie. That's for sure. Greg Titus has been a member of the Magic Crew cast for 10 months. Thank you so very much, Greg, for that. In Frognito, thank you for the pie day. Happy pie day, Magic Crew. So we just got some pie day. In Frognito sent some pie day. We just got some pie day for the Magic Crew. Thank you so very much, In Frognito. It is a busy day, Pixie Dust Mom. How you doing this morning? Morning, Shree. Today would be a great day to run around in circles. And Mouse Ears and Beers, thank you so very much for extending a gift of memberships to the Magic Crew cast. Five of you were randomly selected by YouTube. Uh, to be a part of and in the Magic Crew cast today. You now are in green. Thank you so very much, Mouse Ears and Beers, for extending that and just letting other people be a part of the group as well. Good morning, Rants. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in his kitchen with his cow named Bruce. And uh, he sat there at the table and made these sandwiches. The entire time, Bruce is just eating the ingredients and the sandwiches right from underneath him. Um, I'm sure it wasn't intended to be uh, a good process. It was hilarious though to see this uh, to see this cow sit there and eat sandwiches off the table like that. But you know, you're you're creating really bad habits with your cows. You'll never be able to take them off the brunch. So, good morning, gadget cow. How you doing, Jennifer? Thanks for Ninja watching with us today. And Kitten Duo also gifted a membership. Thank you so very much, Kitten Duo. Why do people gift memberships? It's because they enjoy being a part of the group. And they hope that you'll get the same good feeling being a part of the group as well. So, thank you, Kitten Duo. How are you feeling today, Kitten? Good morning, Aaron. Welcome in, Daniel. Oh, I missed that one. You guys are chatting away. You guys are like in a good mood on it. This is a happy Thursday. Andy Disney Wells guy. Thank you so much, Andrew. 
And you guys are just sharing the love today. I hope that if you get one of these gift memberships, you can uh, really feel the love. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to start singing, but you know, I, I, got, oh, I can't help it. Can you feel the love today? Thank Andrew. Oh, the sunshine feels good. I'm trying to see if I can get the Wi-Fi to stay on today. It keeps cutting out on me this morning. Anthony, just finished your reservations for May. Hope you got everything you're looking for. Howdy, 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 Inez. You guys are going uh, to uh, City Walk for St. Patrick's Day. They have, is it Saturday that they're having the big St. Patrick's Day? Events over at City Walk. It's gonna be super duper crowded. It's just gonna be a lot of fun. Anybody going to Raglan Road for this weekend for St. Patrick's Day? I mean, that's the Disney hot spot to be green. So I was here at the park last night. Uh, I want to say thank you to Tony, Dean, and Nick for inviting me to join them in their Savvy's workshop as they built their sabers last night. And then I stayed up to 1.30 in the morning <laughs> editing together uh, a uh, reel to put up on social media for you guys to look at today. And uh, it's really hard to put an experience as cool as Savvy's Workshop into 60 seconds. There were so many cool things that were happening um, last night and uh, that I captured, but I just can't put it all in. So I tried to capture the heart of it in last night. haven't seen it yet uh, go check it out on shorts later I also uploaded it over on Instagram TikTok and over on threads
He says you have to be tired. Oh, that's my secret. I'm always tired. It's just part of it. Good morning. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Sunshine? I would I wouldn't complain about it, Mark. Um, I will say that I got up and there was um, not some caffeine on the counter. Um, we seem to have consumed all of our uh, caffeinated products last night, so I'm a little low in the caffeine. Did you build all of the after life after last night's experience I'm like I can't remember ever riding this without some yeah. For many years. So uh, we also, um, after yesterday's live stream, I stopped by the uh, the um, our PO uh, box, and there was an amazing box inside, filled with some Texas-sized fun. So uh, I don't know. I, I'm, part of me wants to just wait. I was going to take a picture and share it with you guys uh, at a community post, but um, thank you so much for that magic mail. That was awesome. We had to uh, we had to hide um, we had to hide the nuggets because um, Nova smelt them and she knew that they were for her and we had to convince her that they were not. <laughs> so Quaharini, if you haven't. Uh, watched the short yet it is uh it's an experience i will say that and it's fun to have um the chance to kind of build it your own and customize it and like i said there's a lot of stuff i was not able to put in the short that uh was actually better parts of it but just for time's sake i had to take it out You guys can't see it because I keep the camera up, but there are people here. A lot of people in line, but I keep the camera up for just a moment to make sure everyone doesn't have a camera in their face. So uh, I actually downloaded and, and saved some of the photos uh, that you guys took of your uh, owl drawings from yesterday. But a few more came in um, later in the evening last night and uh, some early this morning and I hadn't had a chance to, to get all of them yet. So I'll have to download them and share with you guys tomorrow uh, the really cool owl drawings that the crew did. <laughs>
did, uh, did it did it have um, I'm not sure to call it a bunny beaver or a beaver bunny in it TLP Well, that's a throwback. All right, so earlier this, uh, was it Monday? We were talking about um, summer 2025 Disney Cruise Line uh, itinerary releases. And I think it may have been on Monday. We were talking about it. Well, we've got some information, guys. Um, so, if you are interested in signing up for a Disney Cruise Line summer 2025 itinerary, We have some dates of when they're going to be made available. Oh, Wi-Fi cut out on me again. That's why. Noticed a miss this morning. valuable when it's really really hot all right so uh, we're gonna have summer 2025 Disney Cruise Line available uh, for booking uh, booking will begin this coming Monday for the top Pearl Castaway Club members and then kind of go down from there, um, depending on how you are in the Castaway Club. If you are not in the Castaway Club or if you're just a Disney uh, Vacation Club member, you can start booking Thursday, March 22nd. And then the general public, if you are not a Castaway Club member, in other words, if you haven't sailed before on Disney Cruise Line, uh, and if you're not a DVC member, you can start, um, we can start booking your D, uh, your Disney Cruise Line cruises for summer 2025 and Friday, March 22nd. So, look at all the mist. this morning does anybody uh, already have a summer cruise for Disney on their wish list that they're ready to reach out to us about <laughs> that's right Eric they're adding more mu moisture more humidity. Huh? No, 
play wizard. What are you doing here? So, if you guys, if you guys are, are and have been waiting for the uh, next wave of Disney Cruise Line uh, itineraries to become available, uh, send us an email. Let us know. Let's go ahead and start getting things prepped and ready. And uh, depending on where you are at in, let's see, I want to, there we go. Go ahead and send us an email, Susan Edwards at TravelMation.net. Copy me, Chris Edwards at TravelMation.net. And we can start talking about itineraries, getting you booked, or at least booking ready and get all the information we need so that when your date opens up, whether you're a Castaway Club member or just general public, uh, we can get you in as soon as possible. It's always the best rates when you book early with cruises and you can choose a lot better availability as far as cabins go, so. Cabin. Yep, spring break. Spring break crowds are fully in effect. So, now we're gonna miss some of those next week. We're gonna be taking you guys with us on our Virgin Voyages group cruise next week. We'll be embarking next Wednesday and on board until the weekend. So we're gonna miss some of the spring break crowds here next week. Sam A bought us all pie. What kind of pie? We talking sweet pie? We talking lunch pie? We talking pizza pie? Shepherd's pie? There we go, Jay Cheney. Awesome, looking forward to helping you guys. so funny uh, oftentimes people will use the phrase we live through you guys vicariously uh, coming to the parks uh, and then when we help you guys book your vacations and you go to Alani and places like that we're like we're living vicariously through you guys so you know we trade places every once in a while Ooh, look how spooky it is Those who are watching and just joining in, you may go, wow, I knew it was humid in Florida, but that's just redonkulous. Hey, Nate, welcome in. Glad you could join us this morning. So we're in spring break mode, guys, which means crowds are going to be crazy. Earlier um, this morning, we just checked 80 minutes for, for alien swirling saucers. So when I saw a 40 minutes for Tower of Terror, mind you, it's gone up to 50 now. I'm just going to jump into it. We're just going to make it happen. Because, you know, we don't oftentimes get a chance to ride 
sometimes we don't get the ride any rides. I mean, this is our fourth year of streaming from the parks during spring break. And sometimes we come in and we don't really get the ride anything unless we just commit to being in a really, really long queue. So help us out this day. Help us choose what you guys want to see for our lunch today. You choose, I chew, then we review. Just keep it a secret in the chat. I have no idea what Susan has created in the lunch poll. I don't go looking for it. I don't know what it is. I won't know what it is until it gets put in front of me by the cast member. So have some fun. If you're a Magic Crew cast, you can try to persuade other people to vote with you by using the one, two, three, four option emojis we have available for you guys. It was funny. I never thought about doing that. And several of you guys asked for it many months ago. And uh, it's I, I sometimes will change out the emojis depending on where we're going and how we're doing it. But I think those four will always stay in the play. Great for people watching though, Peter. <laughs> Lots of that to be doing. So sometimes it's hard to see what line we're in because when we get in lines like this, especially when it goes back and forth, I try not to keep the camera on guests so that they don't have to worry about being filmed or videoed. I want to make sure they feel comfortable with me being around or as least uncomfortable as possible. But we are in the line for Tower of Terror. It's the most humid line in, the all, in all of the parks. Hello, Sydney Bills. Do math like that this early in the day? Hello, Mr. Cellophane. Jumbo, welcome in. Yes, today I am alone. I, would, I, I can't even blame it on having to get up early because I got up early and then I, I got up early again and then, then I got up early again and I kept getting up early again and I just could not stay up this morning. I just kept falling back asleep. And I, I don't know if you guys are like this, but when you like snooze over and over again, I like those are like the weirdest dreams in between snoozes. 
I had the strangest dreams. At least one of them involved lightsabers, but you know, that's to be expected. Uh, Dopey Runner, that's a good question. It's pie day today. What is your favorite pie? And we don't have to be, doesn't have to be dessert pie. You know, some people might like pizza pie, shepherd's pie. Um, I think my all time favorite pie is lemon meringue. I've always loved lemon meringue. And then when I was, when I was a kid, there was a pie company out of Atlanta that uh, was named Christopher Edwards. I'm, I'm not joking, 100% um, serious. I know sometimes it's hard to, you know, trust what I say, at least that's what my kids say. Dad, seriously, dad, no, seriously. Uh, there was a pie company out of Atlanta. They still exist today, but they changed the name. Um, what you see in the grocery stores now is Edwards Pies. But when I was young, the lemon meringue pies all had my name on the front, Christopher Edwards. So um, whenever my mother would buy them, I always had no problem eating as much of that pie as I wanted because it literally had my name on it. And uh, I love lemon meringue pie. And yes, I've told the story before about how I have um, used Christopher Edwards pies in a grocery store as a pickup line uh, to, fir to flirt with uh, young ladies in the grocery store, letting them know that, you know, Christopher Edwards was actually my grandfather's company and he named the pies after me which is completely false. And all you have to do is memorize the address of the factory in Atlanta. It was one lemon lane, which was not that hard to do. So when the, when the women in question were like, no, 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 that's not you. No, I'm like, yeah, it is my grandfather's factory. It's at one lemon lane, Atlanta, Georgia. Da, 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 da. Look on the back of the box. And they pull the box out and like, oh, no way. It still didn't, still didn't get a date out of it, but still, it was fun. Yeah, so my favorite pie is lemon meringue. How about you guys? <laughs> Julie's like, key lime! I've grown to like key lime too. Mark says, lemon meringue is the best. Let's <laughs> just say no to rebranding. Can you imagine if they still were called Christopher Edwards Pies? Yeah, they just call them Edwards Pies now. Really sad. Sheree says a banana cream. I've got a fudge pecan pie from Tori. Now uh, we've got a uh, we've got someone, a friend of ours by the name of Risa, who introduced me to uh, bourbon pecan pie. It's pecan pie, which in itself is amazing, sweet, and uh, should be illegal how good it is but you can make it with bourbon and uh, it just goes to a whole nother pie level. And first time I ever had pecan, uh, bourbon pecan pie was at uh, R5's house on a Thanksgiving day. Uh, that, changed, that changed a lot of things, a lot of perspective in my life.
because <laughs> why is money called dough? Because we all need it. I thought you were going to say this because that's how we roll. But. Awesome, Jill. Thank you so much. You're almost to that 12 month. Molly says cherry pie. I'm not a big, I'm not a big cherry person. I don't know if it's the texture of cherries, if it's the tartness of the cherry. I mean, I will eat a cherry pie, but I will look to see if there's another pie flavor first, if that tells you anything. You know, it's like, oh, cherry pie. Mm, is there any other kind of pie? Oh, apple pie? Oh, even still, okay. Toss a coin. Now, coconut custard would be my dad's thing. My dad, my father loves coconut. Coconut cake is one of his favorite. Gabriel's chocolate silk, key lime, banana cream, apple. It's hard to pick a favorite. Uh, Guajarini blueberry pie is also amazing. Now, uh, Guajarini, I had, you know, I've always loved blueberries. And it wasn't until Susan and I moved to California. Uh, when we lived in Santa Clarita, I worked in Burbank and I serviced uh, telecommuni tele telecommunication uh, projects and building new towers for AT&T um, about 24 years ago in the Los Angeles area and all five of the surrounding counties. We, we found something called Marie Calendar. Now, some of you have never been out to the West Coast maybe just think oh that's just the name of a that's just the name of a uh, chicken pot pie frozen food company right no they actually have restaurants on the west coast please tell me if you live on the west coast that they still exist because back in the early 2000s we discovered marie calendars it was great to eat there but they also had a bakery in the very front of the restaurant in the lobby and um you could just walk in and buy a pie and it was the very first time in my life I've ever seen a sour cream pie. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Sour cream is sour. You don't make pies out of sour cream. And they're like, no, no, you should try it. And they had a blueberry sour cream. And uh, I tell you what, that, um, I don't get that often enough. I don't think I've had it since we've moved back to the East Coast. But the blueberry sour cream at Marie Callender's, you could swing by Marie Callender's on the way home, walk into the lobby, walk up to the window, order a blueberry sour cream pie for $7, and just take it home. You know, people call uh, and sometimes joke about and make fun of California for a lot of reasons, but it isn't because of Marie Callender's. have had banana cream at some point at some point at some point at some point rant <laughs> but I don't know if I I can ever recall it just dropping in this morning we're dropping in sorry no pun intended uh if you just <laughs> dropping into the live stream we're here live at disney's hollywood studios in line for the tower of terror we made it about halfway through the line i guess maybe i want to keep telling myself that
Oh, MSP, I know that suit. It was good. I used to have it as a side. I agree. All right, crew, if you guys are just coming in this morning, take a couple of seconds, hit that thumbs up button. See if we can get those likes up. Let YouTube know we are live this morning and others can come in and have some fun with us who's getting ready to ride Tower of Terror. Strawberries pizza. Does, does it actually have strawberries on it? Well, you know, um, 1900 Park Fair over at the Grand Floridian is going to reopen April 10th. And it's going to have strawberry soup. So that's probably the closest I'm going to get to it at the moment. <laughs> but. John to me. Thank you so much for being a Magic Crew cast. The mist and this lighting is super duper spooky. If it wasn't for the fact that we had like, you know, 500 people surrounding us right now. <laughs> Never get a chance, Alyssa. Put it on your list. If you have the strawberry soup at 1900 Park Fair, it's sort of, it's, a, it's like gazpacho. It's a chilled soup. It's not a hot soup. It's almost like having a bowl of strawberry juice. <laughs> but it's definitely something to try. It's, it's an iconic thing at that restaurant. Is that the one that has the uh, the coconut, the shaved coconut on top right now? There's one that they have. It's only limited, uh, like for the next few days. Um, it has shaved coconut on top, and all proceeds from the sale of that cookie this month goes to an owl sanctuary. And you're like who? And like yeah, exactly. Michelle, how are you? Do you like the Ride Tower of Terror? Now, if you uh, if you like the Ride Tower of Terror, we're gonna put everybody in the seat with me. Um, I'll buckle us in. Everybody, put their hands up. Um, we need to uh, scream with the appropriate um, exclamation of the plural of our group, which is we, not I, but we. And uh, if you do not like that type of activities, we do have a couple people if you like to sit outside, grab a Joffrey's donut on a bench at the exit, and they'll meet us later. So it's kind of a win-win, right? You know, either get the ride a ride or get a donut. Nobody loses in this situation. Good morning, Allison. 
Julie B is going to go through the queue with us, but check in the chicken door. That is also an option. It just means you have to eat your donuts a little faster. That's all. So uh, I want to make sure um, to point out to you guys, we have a new thing being added to our streams for replay value. And uh, I'm going to let you guys know, Baby Dove, one of our moderators, has volunteered to take this upon herself to every day after I complete a live stream. She is going back into the live stream and creating chapters. Now, what are chapters? It basically just divides the streams up so that if you are looking for a particular thing that you may have missed or that you wanted to go back and see again without having to go through and scroll through to find it, the chapters are there to help you find it. So let's just say you were ninja watching today and your boss calls a meeting where you sit around a table and you talk about stuff you've already talked about for the past three months, nothing new comes up. You come back to the stream and you're like, wait, wait, where's lunch? Did you already have lunch? We missed lunch. Well, if you ever come back to the replay later on, you should be able to open up the description of, this, of the video and you will see a list right underneath the description of the certain chapters and a time that is in blue. All you have to do is click it. It's a link. You click it and it takes you to that exact section uh, of the live stream. So I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Baby Dove. Uh, for taking this uh, action and making it easier for you guys, especially for hashtag team replay, to go back and find certain things when you guys are looking for it in the streams. Julie, so try it out next time. Like, I missed lunch. Well, it should be real easy to find lunch next time. Good morning, Shoshana. Are you voting? Did you vote for option one for the lunch poll today? It's 11.04, it's also spring break, which means it's gonna be really hard to get a wait time uh, for an open window for mobile order. So guys, let's actually get prepared to allow Susan to close the poll as we're getting on the ride, so she'll have enough time and an open enough time to still get us a window without having to go too far out in the day. So if you haven't voted for lunch already, go ahead and put your vote in the lunch poll as soon as possible. Hey Sandra, good morning. sounds nice hey um we could trade one day you could stream and i can take naps in between like a freaky friday you know
Pastor Mike, uh, are we going live on St. Patty's Day? I think that is on Sunday, right? I don't know. It sort of depends. We've got a big cruise coming up. We have to get some stuff done and prepared. Um, I'm going to be doing a big stream on Monday. And Tuesday, we're going to be traveling. So I don't know if I am or not. We'll have to wait and see. You know, I'm still looking for that package. It hasn't come through just yet. The one I got yesterday was from somewhere else. Now I know, now I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, it hasn't arrived just yet. It's been a while, Stitch Lover. And all of my kids have 100% volunteer uh, capability of choosing if and when or not to be in streams. And whereas, you know, Liberty used to really love to come to the parks a long time ago. So she doesn't enjoy it as much as she used to, especially with crowds. So when she's ready and if she ever says she wants to, I will be glad to bring her along. But it's always up to each of my three kids. Uh, to choose if and when they want to be a part. Never make my kids do anything like that if they don't want to. Ghost, it's all that humidity on the outside. Gives it that fluffy look. It is a, it's it's a little it's a little antiquated. That's a good word. That's like in the real estate listing. Antiquated uh, hotel establishment. Ooh, there's a table. <laughs> I'm stuck. I went all the way over, like she said. I'll let you go ahead of me. Try not the. Well, we're really crowded in here today.
Tonight's story in the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Crowding, crowding. Shuffle, shuffle. Decision. Do you go straight ahead or do you go to the right? You just really need to make the determination if there's a line that looks a little shorter than the other. Susan, if you want to go ahead and close the lunch pole at your convenience and you can try to get a good window for mobile order, it's going to be a little harder today. So, guys, if you haven't voted, go ahead. But she may close it at any time. Is that comforting? Did that help out? Oh, the lunch pole is closed? Awesome, thank you guys. And at last I see the light. I'm not getting on that ladder. Not getting on a ladder. Just go ahead and drop me. So I'm not getting on that ladder. Not in the dark.
just recording and seeing them. No, YouTube. We live stream every weekday. So, um, it's been, it's been doing it since 2020. Sorry? Yeah, started uh, with the parts from you. What's up, YouTube? Yeah. Want to say hi? Yeah. You're welcome to do so. Where hey, are you visiting up, from? Guys? Sorry? Where are you visiting from? Fort Sebastian. Sebastian? Fort Sebastian? Um, We're going to be in the back corner. Good spot to be. moment your elevator will arrive. When it does, I will call you row by row. Once you are seated, bags go on the floor by your feet. Use items, please put them away. And your seat belts will be on the left. Any questions? Good. To our valued guests, for your safety once on board, please remain seated with your seat belt fastened, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the elevator at all times. And do take special care to supervise your children. Thank you. Estimados Ruiz. Row 6, you're up on top. Row 5, you're also up on top. Row 6, you're also up on top. Stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of the elevator. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. 
beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination in the Tower of Terror. Here we go. We're going up or down. <laughs> still here with us in the chat raise your hand if you're no longer here and we lost you during the ride keep your hand down do a quick check make sure we're all good coverage gets a little spotty until we get into the gift shop so try not to lose anybody else in the process Do a quick check, nods, make sure we didn't lose anybody. Donuts. Let's go pick up all our donut people. Man, the line for the donuts may have been as long as the one for the ride. Did you guys get your donut yet? Anybody just joining in? Good morning and welcome. Coming to you live from the Walt Disney World Resort here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We just dropped out of our ride here at Tower of Terror. Thank you guys for waiting with me today. It can be a little difficult sometimes live streaming during spring break with such long lines, but I'm glad we could get a ride in today. It's now still only at 45 minutes. It's not bad. So, I don't know if you guys picked up on it when we were coming into the ride. There were two gentlemen behind me who were asking the cast member uh, at the beginning of the entrance, why did you guys add seatbelts to this ride? It was, it was a lot better. There was no reason to add seatbelts. Why did you guys add seatbelts? I'm thinking, 
it has always had seatbelts as long as I've ridden it. So I don't really know <laughs> uh, what they're referring to. I mean, maybe it way back in the day didn't have it, but as long as I've ridden, it's always been a seatbelt on this ride. So. Hello, Captain Good Guy. Hello, Fancy Nancy. Good to see you. It's been a day or so. Thanks for riding with us today. Thomas, Thomas lost all feeling after the ride. Couldn't find the hand. I get that. Hello, Randy and Heidi. Timothy said it used to have a single lot bar across the row. That must have been a while ago. A lot of people, yep, just all the lap bars. I sometimes wonder though, if people get the idea that, you know, if they haven't been in a while and they ride something, sometimes their memory of what it's like is a little different. So when they go to ride it again, they get this feeling that something's been changed. Whereas, you know, they do make changes like that from like a single lap bar to seat belts. That was a long time ago when that change was made, but it's funny to have people come from one year to the next and go, oh look, they've, they've, they've added something or, oh look, they have this, th that wasn't there before. And I'm thinking, well, it may just be that you didn't notice it before. But I think that's kind of cool because that means you get to uh, see and experience different things. Wow, Michelle says last time you were on. How long ago was that, Michelle? I'll have to go back and research it. I'm curious as to see when they actually did the switch. I'm shocked that they ever had a single bar for something like that. Because, you know, bars are great, except when you have to share it with other people. Like when my kids were much smaller, Liberty never felt comfortable unless that bar came all the way down to her waist. And when I'm sharing a bar with her, uh, she would uh, she would do her best to uh, uh, crimp me into two pieces with lap bars. So. We are in spring break mode and the crowds are here for it. Twenty nine thousand four hundred and twenty Magic Crew members. Thank you to everybody who has hit the subscribe button here today and is joining us here. Part of the crew. If you haven't done so already, come into the chat and say hello. Give everybody a chance to see your channel name and welcome you in. And if you haven't had a chance yet, do so before you walk away today. Come and hang out with us Monday through Friday where we stream 
every single day in the parks. Unless, of course, we do something cool or different, like get on a cruise ship like next week. We're gonna be taking lots of our magic cruisers with us on board. And the rest of you guys can come and sail along with us virtually. Head toward lunch. Where are we going today? It's a little bright. I may have missed a little bit of comments in there. I would say that Susan is used to me not seeing directions that she's given before. I think the better phrase is she's accustomed to me not paying attention to directions she's given me before. Next week, Jill. Yeah, Casey, Rocket Rider, you can come on the cruise. I bet there's still rooms available. Bahraini says, head to Pizza Rizzo. Did you guys, are we going with the theme? Happy Pi Day. All right, I'm heading to Pizza Rizzo's. Thank you guys for voting in today's lunch poll. Ooh, so pretty. One of our squirrel friends. We'll have to go back to uh, Animal Kingdom and keep an eye out for Tristan. Caleb named our three-legged squirrel friend yesterday, Tristan. Just try being three. I had a feeling that's where he was going. Anybody else have plans to celebrate Pi Day today with friends or family? It's rat pizza. Woohoo! All right, I don't know what the percentages were, but now that I think about it, and it's pie day, and we are going to Pizza Rizzo, something tells me it, it may have won. Did it win by a, a, a big majority? Or did it barely slide by? A lot of science and math on this day. A lot of science and math on this day. Let's go check out some rat pizza. How you doing this today, Rob? Well, I have, uh, I have no say or influence what goes into the poll and what you guys choose. But I was, you know, I had a feeling that it might turn into Pizza Rizzo today. It's always a potential, right? Like the pizza, not the rat. Like the pizza, not the rat. Oh, I'm just here for the snacks. Mm -hmm. 
It was a landslide pizza. That sounds like a really great name for pizza. A landslide pizza. It's got everything in it. Dirt, rocks, trees, spike. I'm gonna go over here to some shade. Pizza Rizzos. I mean, it smells pretty good. All right, I'm gonna guess. We're getting, we're getting the meatball sub, right? Yes, thank you. you. You have to tell me. My wife ordered it for me as a surprise, so you could have put anything in front of me and I want to go, okay. So um, thank you for confirming and letting me know. Thank you. Pizza! When the moon hits your eye, it's like rat, rat, rat pizza. It's some more rain. And salad. Look, Ma. Salad. I don't know why I'm, well, I guess like, I have to have salad. I have to have something with a good, right? Uh, napkins are on the table. I like to go upstairs because I'm a creature of habit. And the stairs are lit, so. I'm obligated to share with you guys the Rizzo's Deluxe Supreme Banquet Hall. With the dance floor and lights, it's a great banquet hall for your activities. Featuring the DJ Electric Mayhem, playing the greatest wedding hits of all time. Now, normally I will go outside just because it's nice to see people watching. But I think we're going to sit in here today. The boots are very comfy. I love the upstairs up here. I like crusty pizza. I know that sounds, I don't like thin crust pizza. I like to have some, some bread to it, you know? Um, PRK says, I know Pizza Rizzo gets hate, uh, but got the wrong one. The chat moves fast, it's hard for me to grab it. Let's see, where was it? I started, hey Gail, six months. 
congratulations on uh, getting to that next milestone. But thank you so much for being a part of the cast. Um, not be as in here yet, Molly. So it's always good to get in here early. Um, Nick says, I tried the pizza there last year. Not a fan. Very picky. I can know a lot of people can be. To me, um, if I wanted really, really fancy and like I want a good pizza day, this might not fit my definition. But I, does this make sense though? If you can understand what I'm getting at here. I'm not saying that, um, it's the best pizza, but it's just like its own style of pizza. And when I do have it, I actually kind of enjoy it. Um, a little grated Parmesan on there as well. A little extra cheese, because hey, why not? I wish I had something that had pizza rizzos on it. Hmm. Uh, this is the pepperoni and sausage pizza. It comes to $12.29. It does come with a side, which is a little cute little salad, as someone once pointed out. A little Caesar salad. A little green, a little roughage. Help out. Jill says, we're up to 446 likes for today. Thank you guys so much for continuing to hit that button as you guys come in. If you like some substance to your crust, I like to have a little chewiness, you know? Marianne says, I like the veggie pizza. Any pasta salad is actually pretty good. Um, we sat over by the 95 sign. Right over there. It's nice and empty up here right now, so don't mind it. bigger. There you go. Let's see if I can put it on threads, put it on Instagram. By the way, thank you to everybody. So thankful. You know, Instagram has been such just not what it used to be for us. Um, I mean, we have almost 50,000 people who follow us on Instagram, but we don't have the engagement we used to do. You know, now they don't do pictures anymore. They all want all reels. So, you know, I did, used to do a lot of photography. I used to do a lot of news articles and news updates and stuff that I now tend to do in our live stream. So you guys get a lot of my focus now on Instagram, but because of the way the algorithm has changed, I'll post things on Instagram and just, I don't know if very many people see it anymore, especially if it's a photo. I posted the picture yesterday for Animal Kingdom and you guys just just took it and ran with it. Um, it's the most engagement I've had on a picture on Instagram in forever. So thank you to everybody who uh, just took a like, that left a comment, shared it. A lot of you guys put it on stories, which was just amazing because I'm, you know, I'm not used to that. Um, so it was really cool. So um, if you guys have never followed us on Instagram, we're going to try to get Instagram running again and, and a lot more information and stuff that we do over there. But it's me. I am social media for ear to ear magic, everything. Um, and when I do an eight hour workday every day streaming on YouTube, it makes it very difficult to keep um, Instagram up and running. So. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, doing that for the picture yesterday for the sunrise at Animal Kingdom. Hope you guys enjoyed that picture. Um, Rob says, I've never actually eaten at Pinocchio. Hello, One. But I wouldn't be surprised if they had the same pizza. Um, it's actually a different pizza than here. Um, Pinocchio's has uh, like a oblong oval. So I'm sure these are pre-made, at least the crust are. So 
so it's a slightly different. I like this one because it's a little bit more doughy. Does that make sense? How about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scare everybody on Instagram. How about if I right now, I post a picture on Instagram. They're like, what's going on? He never posts in the middle of the day anymore. Let's see if I can do that. So what are you guys doing for uh, Pi Day? This is my last Florida man. This is my last Florida man cartridge. Tammy says, my son liked the pizza there. One was, I can't stand pizza that has air in them. I'm not a big fan of, of um, flat crust. Is that what it called? AJ Cake, celebrating Pi Day. There you go. trying to pull up a picture so I can put it up on Instagram while we're sitting here. Um, quick reminder, if you guys are going with us on our Virgin Voyages cruise next week, we will be having another Zoom call tonight to answer last minute questions. Again, give you guys have a little meet and greet, make sure everybody's getting to know each other really well. So when, you, when we show up at the hotel next Tuesday, everybody already knows everybody very well. So we hope you guys can make it there tonight, 7 p.m. It will be a Zoom link over on our uh, Virgin Voyages uh, group page. And those who are going on our um, Allure of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, we will be starting those for that cruise very soon um, so that you guys as a group can get to know each other and spend some time with each other before we set sail. Um, so we are going to make sure that everyone um, is very familiar with everybody else. You don't have to have that, that icebreaker period in the beginning. Oh, I have, do I need to check PayPal's? Bam. Is there any place at Hollywood Studios that actually sells a pie that's not pizza? I'm thinking. I think there's chicken pot pie. There's chicken pot pie over at uh, the um, 50s primetime. Someone says I should check PayPal, so let me do that real quick. I do not like to not recognize people when they are generous to the channel. So, show all. It's amazing how many steps I have to click to get to the places I need to go. So starting this morning, I know we 
you got PayPal's. <laughs> There's actually money in there. Oh, that's how we bought lunch. By the way, um, thank you, Tony, and your family. Thank you guys for letting me tag along with you guys last night. If you haven't seen the short from Asabi's workshop, go check it out. It was a pleasure to hang out with uh, Tony and his boys. Um, and to see them build their sabers last night. I may actually do a longer edit to show a lot more cool content that I got, but I wanted to do it short enough to put it into a short so everyone could watch it. But that was awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. This morning, Infrognito. I'm gonna go over some that we've already talked about. Infrognito sent in a Pi Pal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. A Pi Pal for $3.14 this morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you, Infrognito. Um, Quaharini also sent in a Pi Pal this morning um, at the start of the stream. I missed this one before. Let's see. Uh, Alex, um, Alexandra sent in a $6.26 PayPal this morning. Says, thanks for always sharing the parts, Chris. I was crunching numbers at work this morning. I came up with 626 and the calculations. It was a sign and I wanted to share it. So thank you so much for that, Alexandra. Um, I hope that anytime you see the numbers randomly 626, it puts a smile on your face. Not because there's any reason behind it, because it's, why not have a random positive thought pop into your day? Why not? Um, Tony Blip sent in a, whoop, open it up there, a $6.26 PayPal for the community. Thank you so much, Tony. And boom, for you guys, for those, um, you made it possible for us to have lunch and to pay for us to have some pizza today and maybe even have a little gas money when we get home. So that would be awesome. So thank you guys so very much. And we just got a pie pal. We just got a pie pal. We just got a pie pal from the magic crew. Thank you guys. Uh, Shaman says if you double pie, you get 628, which is not too far from 626. Sort of depends on, well, do you round up? I guess it's kind of the, it does kind of work out pretty well. How you doing, Blue Moon? Welcome in. I'm checking to see it catching back up. Uh, Crystal made a home uh, pizza dough yesterday. Sweet, hello, Pinocchio. And I knew there was something else that popped up on the corner of my eye. Where is it? Oh, mini fan, I'm sorry we missed you. I hope you had a great day. Um, and we, we move sometimes pretty fast. We're really hard to catch up, especially when we have like a 30 second delay for closed captioning on our streams. So. I, I did get that one. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if he wanted me to, to call it out or not. I saw it, I hesitated, but Dean did send me a PayPal. We're gonna put that to really good use here on the channel. Um, and uh, greatly appreciate that. So Dean, uh, we just got a PayPal. Yes, I got that PayPal. Thank you for that PayPal for the Magic Crew. It was a pleasure to hang out with you guys last night. Thank you so very much for letting me be a part of it. And it was funny, last, last night I told him, I said, you know, I'm gonna be up to 1.30 editing this, and I still got it. Oh, did you find out what happened to LP? It went to the, it went to the old address. It happens. We've had, a, we've, we had that happen uh, on a couple of things, so. Did they send it back to you, hopefully? Please tell me they got it back to you. So, I haven't tried the pizza yet. It's pie day. So, 
It's a cute little pizza. It's not huge. It's a personal pizza. I remember back in the day going to a Pizza Hut for personal pan pizzas. That was like the big thing back then. And honestly, if I had gotten this in school and growing up, I mean, we like those really nasty lunch pizzas we get every so often that the lunch ladies always work on. But we love pizza day. By no standard nowadays would we consider that to be real pizza. This is still better than that. And it's really doughy. The dough itself is a little bland. It's still better than other theme park pizzas that I've had in the past. You guys know what I mean by theme park pizza. All right, I'm gonna edit this picture and I'm gonna put it on Instagram. Maybe threads if it will let me. New summer 2025 itineraries are now available. Booking next week. Starting on uh, Monday of next week. So. All right, so I'm gonna post this on Instagram if you guys wanna go over there and leave a comment or check it out. Let's see, Hollywood Studios. And it's gonna go to Facebook as well. And share. It's loading, it's thinking. And done. Feel free to jump in there and leave a comment as to what you guys are doing for Pi Day. Eh? 
It's wrap pizza. And whenever you guys comment on social media, whenever you post anything, feel free to use the hashtag magic crew so that others can find your post. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna look up magic crew right now. Remember, it's Magic Crew, not Magic Cartel Crew. That's a completely different thing, apparently. Thing is, there's only about a thousand posts on Instagram that use Magic Crew. So I bet we'll be able to find. Oh, look, there's one from Andrew. This one from Andrew on Instagram using Magic Crew. I'll give that a quick like. You guys, uh, Andrew Schlosser, part of the crew. So if you guys ever want to meet and interact with others within our community over on Instagram or elsewhere, well, use the tag so other people can find you. I'm just gonna now scroll up. Look, there's Ear to Ear Magic. if there's anybody else I can find. Another ear to ear magic. Another ear to ear magic. <laughs> Another ear to ear magic. Another ear to ear magic. Another ear to ear magic. Wow, this guy, ear to ear magic, uses that tag all the time. I'm finding a lot of old stuff, too. Magic crown. Zycos Photography. Okay, I, I'm sort of dominating. Uh, <laughs> another one from Andrew. Andrew's using the hashtag a lot. And basically what you can just do is just take and scroll up and it's gonna take you to every one that it can find. Look, there's Liberty. One of our days, the Universal. I, that was a fun day. She was so happy with that mask. This is uh, when Liberty got to feed the uh, tortoises, the Galapagos tor tortoises over at Gatorland. See if I run into anybody else that we know. Andrew's been doing it though. Andrew's the only one that's just shown up there recently. Barini says rat pizza isn't bad, but I'll stick the sweet over savory pie. Did we get some owl mail yesterday? Not yesterday. Yesterday we got um, I got some Bucky's mail yesterday. 
And because I was getting ready to go back out to um, see Savi's workshop, I didn't get to take a picture of it and share it, but I'm gonna show you guys what we have, but we didn't get any owl meal, not yet. Royce has never eaten there. It's that spicy kind of school-like theme park pizza, but I like that. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, Opie, and I got yours. But a few of them I didn't get to download before I had I got into this morning. So I want to share some of them tomorrow. But See if I can find it. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Oh, but I am going to share those. I'm going to download the rest of them and uh, see if I can share them with you guys tomorrow. I've only had half the pizza. You know, I gotta have some, I gotta have some chewiness to it. I like to have some chew to my pizza. I don't know. So, Marianne, what was, uh, give me a clue as to what was in it. We, we, we received a couple packages. Here's the problem is sometimes we receive packages from people and they may have their names on it, but not their channel names. And so I have to check just to make sure I'm not attributing it to different people. I've been looking for TLPs for a bit and haven't seen it so can you give me a hint a little clue uh, as to what was in it without just divulging it no. these crusts are probably pre-made they are more than likely pull the crust out and probably throw some butter on it, a little bit of toppings, put it in an oven for a few minutes. So not exactly a homemade taste, but it's still, it's comfort pizza.
I like a little, I like the puffiness. This kind of stuff right here. I like that. I like to get to the end and have breadstick at the end. I don't want it to crunch. I don't think pizza should crunch. <clears throat> I think it should chew. It should have extra gluten in it. Not exactly moist. It's better when you have a piece of it with the crust. I mean the uh, sauce. Hello, Lily Yen. Welcome in. I'm gonna put you guys here in the middle. A ricotta cheese pizza. Wow. Hey, Jackie K. Okay? Oh, we always enjoy a stuffed crust. It's like the girls at Despicable Me. Ooh, stuffed crust. I like to chew on it. I like it to be like a fluffy, like a puppy uh, breadstick. If you get Papa John's, you get that little garlic butter, which is probably the worst thing in the world you can eat. But it's still pretty good. Now, I mean, if you want something that's probably a little better, I don't know, maybe you can go over to the boardwalk and try the, their walk-up pizza. Or at Epcot, go to Italy. Hey, Jackie. Happy Thursday, guys. yogurt that sounds healthy what do you think Don did you make pizza crust with uh, Greek yogurt oh Morgan this is why I want to look at it you are right here you are here look Morgan you are and with the little curtains. If you need a napkin, get yourself a napkin. We had ourselves a cute little salad. Man, we're almost done eating the pizza. And afterwards, Morgan, we're all gonna walk around the park and look at all the lines, see how long they are for spring break. Big old shake, just 
just gifted five ear to ear magic memberships to people randomly chosen by YouTube so that they could be in the magic crew cast. Thank you, Pickle Shake. We have who who was who was let's see. Jonathan Welsh, X-Men 99, Gabriel, Don Burks, and someone else. One, two, three, four. I'm missing the fifth one. So, thank you, Pickle Shade. You guys are now in green. chance to try um, the uh, Monopoly because we're always doing festival food so we're gonna have to do that on the list one day because I can't tell you the last time I had the pizza there and by the way Alice Ellis sent in a 99 cent super chat. I was trying to put it up on the screen. I got too far behind. So Ellis, what can I say except thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. I'm gonna have to put it on our list to try one of these days. Maybe an extra Epcot stream or something. says pizza bari is the same puffy pizza pizza bari serves in animal kingdom is that right rob it's been a day since we had pizza party i don't tend to eat a lot of pizza in the parks all right let's rate it 1229 sausage pepperoni pizza four slices personal size comes with a side nice salad not a lot but you know it's a good amount of food it's a small pizza the fact of the matter is it's a lot of dough you really don't want it to be bigger i'm perfectly satisfied it's a good amount of food it looks fine it tastes to me it's not going to be your homemade kind of pizza but it's, it's very good comfort pizza, something you feel comfortable with. So for me, I like it every once in a while. I'm not gonna have this on a regular because there's so many other things. That's more of a unique, good flavor and something, you know, really cool. So I am going to do what I can to do something other than just pizza. Um, overall though, value, presentation and flavor, I'd give it right in the middle. It's a three. I mean, it's a three. It's solid, it's good comfort, but I mean, it's not gonna be breaking any uh, records or recipes or stuff like that, so.
is a nice place for you to be. Um, it's nice and air conditioned. Um, it, sometimes it gets a little crowded in here, which you know, it can happen. Right now it's not too bad, especially for spring break. Here, I'm gonna put this in the uh, bin and we're gonna get back out and see some more parts. It's really not that busy right now. You can get yourself a pizza rizzo. Henny. Lots of space. And like I said, if you like the people watch, oftentimes you'll come out here, guys. Because this is a great spot to sit and eat. There's a fan right above you. You just sit here and watch everybody have a great time. Goodness, look, the line for the Muppet Show is out the door. Out the door! At Shoebar, over uh, to my left is where the Christmas shop and the old Muppet store was free of prior to 2020. It has not reopened. And so that area back there is other than Mama Melrose restaurant and the exit to Muppet Vision 3D, there's not a lot of foot traffic back there. So if you're looking for a break. Hey, Amanda, happy Thursday. That's awesome, Kitten Duo. Mama Mero, she has to step. You guys want to walk back there? I'll show it to you. What's going down? Welcome in, guys. If you're just joining us this afternoon, we are coming to you live from Disney's Hollywood Studios here at Walt Disney World. You know, sometimes people come in and we're in Galaxy's Edge and they're like, oh, is this Disneyland, Disney World? Kind of hard to tell when those areas are so very similar. less than three weeks okay. our Christmas shop here yeah. it's a wonderful shop except that it's closed hasn't been open for four years matter of fact um guys we are uh, 
I think we're at the four year anniversary of the exact time that Disney World shut down. It was, I think, March 15th. It was a Sunday evening. We were at the Magic Kingdom. Last time the park was open before all the shutdown. Disney Springs was open one more day and the uh, hotels were open for a couple more days afterwards. But Mama Melrose still open. store back open the Christmas store back open hey we have a new eatery they built a whole brand new snack space my I, my idea is, is when you're starting to build brand new spaces then okay that's a good sign that you're ready to open up the old spaces too we have a little Blue Moon, people drink around the world showcase. Why can't we just eat cake and cupcakes and get some French ice cream and all that? Uh, yeah, that's uh, what we like to do. Let's head on into Galaxy's Edge to see what's happening off world today. So they brought uh, Chip and Dale back for meet and greets over by Echo Lake, which means they brought Max and instead of meeting by himself, he's now meeting with Goofy, which makes a lot of sense. Right before you go into Galaxy's Edge. Streamer's worst enemy. I've got a loose. I got a loose uh, shoelace here. I'm gonna put you on top of this trash can. If you guys want to look for uh, Mark Hamill's uh, phone number and Arabesh, feel free.
It does have a little natural breeze that goes through there, Gabe. Welcome in, Chris. All right, I'm gonna see if I can guess the time. I'm gonna see if I can guess the standby wait time simply by looking at the queue. I have not looked for wait times on the app since before lunch. We are outside of the cave. So I'm guessing at least an hour. Uh, I'm gonna go 90 minutes based on what I see. I'm guessing 90. Hmm, there's more people at the entrance. Man, I've underestimated. 85. About an hour and a half wait. <laughs> Owen would have said I've gone over. I mean, I was off by five minutes, but I went over. So by Price is Right laws, it doesn't count. The closest to getting, closest to the actual amount without going over. How you doing, Eduardo? Too bad outside the market. I don't think the Mandalorian comes back out again until two. So this little area over here is pretty open. It's a different story inside the marketplace though. from a long line of standing in line and going is this how long am I gonna be in this line an hour an hour and a half it's when they uh, it's when the alarm in your head starts why does an alarm go off and not on should an alarm go on when you power a TV you power it on a TV doesn't go off, it goes on. Well, why does an alarm go off? I don't understand English, but when my, uh, when my, uh, my Spidey Sense, to, to cross um, multiverses here, uh, when my Spidey Sense goes off after waiting on a line for too long, you tend to start to remember about where you're at when you realize, oh, I'm not waiting that long anymore. I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Chewy today. 
go. He might not want to necessarily be seen out in the sun. I wonder if you were in the Star Wars universe and you were celebrating Pi Day, what kind of food would you be looking for? I mean, I don't, I don't think, you know, travelers here know much about pizza. So what would, what would a space pie be? I mean, I know what space balls are, but I don't know what a space pie is. Hopefully. an ex excellent question, Uncle Hardmart. Why do you call it a near miss? Because it means you know it wasn't a near miss. It was clearly a miss because you didn't actually hit. It should be a near hit. I agree. So I'm going to take you guys down here to show you where you come in at Savi's. You guys have seen the uh, short that uh, I uploaded this morning. One of the reasons why I was a little late as well. I needed to make sure I got it uploaded everywhere so we would see it. You make your appointment here at Savi's. Make it as early as you can. They're sometimes hard to come by. Every person who makes a reservation is allowed one guest to witness the build. You will come to check in over here with your reservation. And uh, once you check in, they'll give you a menu, letting you choose the four options of different styles. You got four different styles of sabers you can choose from. Each style of saber has different pieces that you can choose from to build. So lots of different. There it goes. Lots of different options. Hey, it was chewy. Uh, when you sign in to your reservation and you've paid, um, they will ask you to choose one of the four types of sabers to build. And then with that, they will give you a pin, a wearable lapel pin that you can put on signifying which of the four you have chosen. And then when you go in to build inside the workshop, the, the tray they present in front of you only has the options for the, cho the chosen style. So. a few uh, travelers. Oh, we got a little princess down there. He's saying hello to. That's awesome. Tried to do some uh, bounty hunting last night since it was dark. It would be a great time to do some bounty hunting. My Magic Man Plus was not charged, so it didn't work. It was, it was, it was a little bit sad. Ha! <laughs> I think it all comes down to whether or not you refer to him as Chewbacca 
or chewy. How well do you know him? I don't Over here, at night in Spark. Wait, do you ignite the spark or ignite the fire? I gotta make sure I say the wrong one so I get Calvin all up in arms. What do you mean, you? Don't call him crunchy. Whatever you do, don't beat him. Just let the Wookiee win. Here's Kylo. Man, these guys are so bad. You got Chewie and Vi just around the corner. They don't even know it. to say perspective is probably one of my favorite characters who roams because he's the only character in all of Walt Disney World who walks up to guests and then just tells them to get out of his way it's very unique Thank you so much. It says the seatbelt and tire terror wasn't around the first time. Uh, you wrote it back in 2004. I think the first time that I rode Tower of Terror was in 2008. Maybe. So that would, that would, that would jive. I'm okay without seeing the Supreme Leader at all. How about that? I don't even want to see him happy. Oh, I stepped forward too soon. Oh. Snapple. Snapple drink. Don't move. Stand still. Don't blink. Showing appreciation for Troopers, though. Make way for the Supreme Leader.
adults rooting for them to have a not so good day and finding the resistance. Now here in our channel, we're very big about supporting others and making sure that we can do what we can to lift others up and help them to have a great day and be successful in what they do and how they do. Unless of course you're in the first order and kind of then on your own. But uh, thanks for hanging out first order. Awesome, we have a very young, strong Padawan dragging his parental unit behind him with a harness device. It's very nice of uh, the Padawan to look after their parental unit in such a great fashion. Location of the secret base is safe for Disney Lisa. <laughs> I think they know exactly what they're going to do with the shuttle. They're just not telling us yet. It's coming. day it is here today. Hello Tiana, how are you today? Blue Moon, is Woody's Lunchbox a good quick service? Uh, I like the food at Woody's Lunchbox. It is a little challenging to one and get into it because it has a very small entranceway and two, there is a small dining area. So sometimes it can be a little on the frustrating side trying to get some space to sit. It's to the point where cast members have to sit, oh, I'm sorry, have to sit uh, on the edge to make sure that tables are not being used up by people not eating. So. But they got some great they got some great meals there. Get the tachos. We made it back over to well, the Falcon and Vi and Chewie have joined us. It's a 95 minute wait right now for the Millennium Falcon. See the line over here is quite long. Would you guys be interested to see a little test to see how long it would take a single rider to get on the Falcon today. Anybody up for a little uh, Falcon run? Yeah, if you get stopped by the first order, just talk baseball. They'll leave you alone. They have no clue what baseball is. Lone Wolf, Julie B. They sound like you guys want to check out the uh, single rider. Should we go do it? 95 minute wait, standby. Let's see what happens if we go through Single Rider. See if the Single Rider song helps us out any as well. All right, let's go give it a test. See what happens. Bright Suns, Bright Suns, 
all the single riders, 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 all the single riders. You put your hands up and go, because you didn't have to wait in line for 95 minutes. Cause if you're riding, you won't have to wait for a line. If you're riding, you won't have to wait for a line. Cause if you're riding, you won't have to wait for a line. Oh, 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 submitted one of the uh, your owl photo right I've got a few more I want to download before I share them all because I, I had a, some of them come over late last night because after I, um, I got into email so Break it, I fix it. Okay, so love you. All right, all the way down, guys. Good luck. Go ahead. 
Thank you.
Let's get out of here. that Chewie. He's not going to hold that against me. How you do a 95 minute ride in 15 minutes. successful single rider line don't you guys think it's pie day everybody do we need pork pie all right how how uh how similar to uh chicken pot pie is pork pie Maybe that's how they celebrate Pi Day in space. All right, I'm gonna stop for just a second and put our floaty back together again. How are you doing today, Adam? In. BH Gilmore says wires make great nesting material, which is why my charging cables. I gotta make sure I uh, don't leave them out for too long. That would be awesome, Mads Ventures. I'd love for you guys to pop in and say hello to the crew. If you guys see us, come on over.
today's weather. High of 86 degrees tomorrow, high 89. 88 on Saturday, St. Patrick's Day, 89 as well. Monday's looking a little rainy at the moment, dropping down to low 80s. We'll see how that develops over the weekend. And this morning as I came into the park, even before I came in, the multiple park magic, or not magic, but Genie Plus had already sold out for the day. So um, very much a spring break kind of thing. Uh, it is $35 for Magic Kingdom, $28 for Epcot, $32 for Hollywood Studios today, and Animal Kingdom is at $25. I fully expect that sometime over the next two weeks, our multiple parks of Magic Kingdom price will reach $40 and above. That's my guess. I'm guessing $42 is what we're going to be looking at this season. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. As always, when you guys are ready to start making your reservations so that you can get your countdown started for your next Disney, Universal, cruising, or any other type of vacation, that you reach out to us and let us be your Travel Nation travel agents. The great thing is we can help you with what we know from the parks, from the other, the, uh, other 40 plus vendors that we work with, uh, with Travel Nation. Uh, and let you guys take a little bit of stress off of you by giving us the job of making reservations and telling you how to best plan for your vacations and not charge you anything in doing so. There are no fees to have a speeder travel agent. You're already paying for my commission whether you use us or not. So why not? Go ahead and have somebody be in your back pocket when you need some help. Chewie came over here to hide in the shade. I don't blame him. Mandalorian will be about out again this afternoon at 2 p.m. Coming in the same area. So when you guys are ready, send us an email. Susan Edwards at TravelMation.net. Chris Edwards at TravelMation.net. Let us know where you want to go, when you want to go, who's coming with you. Keep in mind, most of the time, just to give you an accurate quote, we will need to know how many children under the age of 18 will be coming and their ages because ticket prices, room prices, cruise fares are all dependent upon ages. So. When you reach out, be prepared to let us know how many people will be under the age of 18 and their uh, ages so we can give you guys the best quote. Blue Moon, do we have ear to ear match? Uh, ear to ear. Um, magic merchandise not yet it's in discussions it's in the works we hope to have some um, soon not immediately but we have had a lot of interest in it and we just haven't really focused on it but uh, we do have some bit boards though and you're like what's a bit board well, hopefully, if you are a racer, if you are a runner, you know what a bib board is. Uh, we do have Ear to Ear Magic custom printed bib boards. They are not for sale, though. They are <laughs> complimentary when you guys contact us to book your Run Disney Race Weekend reservations. So if you guys did sign up for the Wine and Dine, or if you're planning on running any of the other races in 2025 and would like to go ahead and get your race weekend reservations made, even prior to opening up of the races for registration, you can do so. And we will make sure that you guys have some ear to ear magic printed bit boards to use for your race that weekend.
line's getting longer for Rise of the Resistance. Now we're in the tunnel. It's like, do we want to see Slinky Dog? I do too. I'm going to go a different route to take us into there though for today. I'm going to head on back to Toy Story Land. How is everybody doing this Thursday? If you're just popping in, it has been a busy but less than crowded normal spring break day. We did have some wait times of two hours for Rise of the Resistance this morning. We did see an 80 minute alien swirling saucers, which to me is mind boggling. But the fact that I actually have places to walk right now, uh, I'll take that. If something tells me tomorrow when Owen and I go to Epcot, Tomorrow, we are gonna have a hard time finding space to walk around the World Showcase. I'm just gonna call it now. Hope you guys will come and join us. We're gonna do the Easter egg extravaganza, egg hunt around the World Showcase. You guys wanna help us find some eggs tomorrow? It's a good thing we did the Spike to Bee pollen expl uh, pollination exploration early because uh, we received the word back on Tuesday that the cornholes, uh, the small miniature cornhole boards were gone. They're now offering magnets for prizes. So Owen got his orange bird in. Uh, Greg wants to know, is there a limit of how high, high? There's not a limitation. It can go as high as Disney wants it to go, but it's never gone above 42. That's not because it's been set as a high. That's just where they have naturally set it during the Christmas holidays. So I'm curious to see if we get to 42 in the next two and a half weeks or even exceed it. The sweet corn at Epcot, the one on the cob, the uh, Mexican street corn. Cool, Adobe Runner says we're only 64 thumbs up away from hitting 600 for the day. Thank you to everybody who came in. It took just a brief second to hit the thumbs up. I hope that whatever creator on YouTube you like to follow and support, take just a second anytime you go into their channel, their vlogs, their live streams, to hit a thumbs up. 80 minutes right now from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Uh, Tiana says, my mom tried to apply for Travelmation, but she can't do it. Well, I hope this is something she still wants to do that she's able to do so later. I'm so used to coming over here and seeing Chip and Dale, but they're now meeting over by uh, Echo Lake. So. <laughs> Hope they're okay with seeing just the statue. Christian, we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put some pressure to see if we can get things moving along. There's a couple of designs I would like to personally have. 
just with the ear to ear gorilla logo on it. But I think for one, that it would be irresponsible if we didn't make one that had the don't be a zebra on it. I think we need one just to, I, I like to have our, our merch to be very clean, very simple. Nothing too bright or too in your face. But I think we need a Don't Be a Zebra shirt. What do you guys think? At a minimal. I know, guess as I heard Universal Studios is packed. Uh, I had someone that I know who went a couple of days ago and they reported that it was pretty wall to wall. Edna Mode is meeting from nine to five. 15 minute wait at the moment. Mr. and Mrs. Incredible are down here at the end of Pixar area. And oftentimes, Sully is to my left down here. He is the only non-incredible Pixar character to meet in this area. So a short wait for Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. 15 minute wait for Edna Mode. She's in their meeting right now. She's so well reserved. You guys want to go meet Edna? Let's go meet Edna. It's only 15 minutes, right? No, darling. You must be cool and reserved. There's nobody in this line. I don't know why they say 15 minutes. It's not even close to 15 minutes. I agree, Betty. <laughs> if it gets really crowded and really hot, Walt Disney Presents Theater is a great place to go. Uh, the live action mermaid is no longer meeting, I don't believe. I believe the meet and greet in that area has changed to something else. I don't know. Let me go to I'll, I'll double check to make sure. We'll walk back here and I'll look and see. Hello, Edna. Hello, how are you guys? I, I, I'd love to see you. It's nice. Oh, it's very nice in here too. Very nice. It's warm outside. It's very warm. Yes, you gotta have the lights. You have to have the looks. So I was a little disappointed here, darling, the other day when I saw in the Oscars that more people weren't wearing mode. What can you do? You cannot, you can't give away fashion taste. You can't. And yeah, it's, well, you know, you can make good, but you can't make people want good. That's just it, exactly. So we were talking a little bit about fashion. I, I, I'm wearing my red today. I'm normally in blue. I need to find my color. I think blue is it, but what do you think? Do you think blue, you think blue is good? What does blue say? Is, uh, is blue sort of a, a superhero kind of positive kind of feel? Yeah, like, 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 a, like a vibe. Just it's like got a, a cool positive vibe, vibe. yes. I feel like this has a villain vibe to it. I'm a little worried about that. This doesn't say villainous, does it? 
You see, I think we can go with the shoes. Yes. Well, I was. So I'm, I'm, when we come together, when we come back, I might have to help you out with some more branding to help me out. So uh, I'm going to put all these guys down. These are uh, a lot of our, our crew is over here watching with us today, live on something called the YouTube. Yes. So um, we're going to put him down here. Edna, you're huge. Look how tall you are, darling. Oh my goodness, you've grown. <laughs> Alright, let me get rid of this because nobody does backpacks. I mean, really. No Thank you, Edna. Thank you for the advice. Always a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Next year, the Oscars will be all Edna. I'm claiming it now. That's right. That's right. All the money. Thank you, Edna. Yeah, that was a 15 minute wait too. So, uh, <laughs> that was crazy quick. I always feel really underdressed around Edna Mode. Do you ever feel that way? I mean, I'll, it doesn't matter. I could be in a tuxedo. I feel like I'm just not quite up to it. I know she doesn't judge, but at the same time, I wonder if she does. I don't think she's judgmental. Oh yeah, she'll, she'll make it good, so thank you. Um, good example, guys. Know where the queue is, know what the queue means. It said a 15 minute wait. I looked inside the door. I could not see anyone in line. Uh, they just didn't, they didn't reduce the wait, so. <laughs> that was incredible. Wow, when I put, uh, when I put the uh, gimbal on the ground, did you see how tall she got? So yeah, Ariel is still meeting. I did not even know that. I don't think about it because I never go into Walt Disney Presents that often. Because you get to the end and like they won't let you watch the movie with a camera, so I don't go in very often. But yeah, Ariel's still meeting. That's good. Because I heard somebody earlier today wanting to meet Ariel. I was wondering about that. <laughs> oh no, she judges. She judges silently, but already she she judges in a helpful way. That's not your fault, dog. You just don't know anymore. <laughs> yes, yeah, getting do. I do need to hydrate. Let me find the hydration station. How about we go? Uh, how about we go watch the Slinky Dog Dash go by a little bit, and I'll grab a, some sips of water for a second. I wonder what would happen if I did wear a cape. If I were just to show up with a cape and just act nonchalant, I wonder what she would do. You think she'd notice? Would she silently judge but say nothing? Kayla would do that. Owen wouldn't even go near the entrance with me, but Kayla would. Kayla would put on capes and everything. <coughs> oh no, I thank you, thank you for looking out for me, Kitten. It's very quiet over here. We're Slinky. Everybody call out, Slink! <coughs> Ellis, they are gonna reopen the uh, Little Mermaid Theater 
here, it's not gonna open until fall. We don't have an exact date yet. Uh, keep in mind, fall is not gonna happen until, you know, September. So we are at the end of the year gonna have a new revamped show of uh, The Little Mermaid live on stage. Uh, Tammy, the age difference between all of our kids is two years. The boys are two years apart and Caleb and Liberty are two years apart. Jonah, do you know if I can publish your book with Disney once you're done with it? You're better luck publishing it yourself. <laughs> Disney's very, very particular. All of the stuff that Disney does, it has to be done a certain way in a certain style. Even artists who do Disney art have to be very careful. They have to ask permission with uh, um, mock-ups of art. Anything commissioned has to be presented to them beforehand for their lawyers to look at. They will tweak it, tell you what you can and cannot do, even what you can name your piece of artwork. So it's if it's something that you're uh, creating ahead of time and then asking for Disney's permission, it's very difficult to do. But you can self-publish it. Well, guys, I thought we'd have a slink go by, but he's not running at the moment. He's got to take a little bit of a break, I guess. Comes Woody. How about if we get a hey howdy hey from Woody as he goes by? I'm sure Jesse's with him. So I'm just gonna stand right about here and see if we can get a hey howdy hey from anybody. <laughs> hey howdy hey! See if I can find a place to sit for just a bit, hydrate for a second. As we move into the hotter parts of the years, guys, when you come to the parks, remember that one thing that can really mess up your day is to not stay hydrated. If you don't hydrate, you could just pass out, you could get headaches, all kinds of crazy things and uh, it can really mess up your day, so. Yay, Mommy, hey, Taylor. Hey, Dad, come here. I'm gonna come over here and see if we can find our space for a bit. I'm gonna grab my water out. Is that Thrasher? Oh, the noodles. Welcome.
thousandth guest. This is Steph. Michelle's coming home. Good to hear. Oh, Ellis, the Honey I Shrunk the Kids playground was amazing. The best playground all over. saucers. Again, this was 80 minutes earlier today. Your attention, please. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, your hands, arms, feet, legs, paws, and antenna inside your rockets, and supervise your children. Safety first. Exactly, Jeremy. I got back. Don't be a zebra bottle. It's good to see you, Mitchell. Doing good today, Joanna. How are you? Slightly warm day, but not overly hot. Hot mid 80s but hey how you need toys for your safety please remain fully seated there is no lap sitting and we'll have to honor these items thank you oh op op mama it's an old old joke um We'll have to fill you guys in every so often. So back in 20, was it 2022, guys? It's been a while. Um, it's either January of 22 or January of 23. I think it was January of 22. Uh, we were on the Kilimanjaro Safaris. And the, the driver of the vehicle told us something we've never heard before. And it was that, you know, when you see the giraffe, uh, the zebras hanging out with the antelopes. It says that you might think that they're friends because they hang out together. But in reality, as soon as a predator comes on the savanna, a zebra have been known to physically harm or kick antelope in the head. So that they would get dizzy or not be able to run just so that the predators such as lions and such would catch the antelope before the zebras. It was just the funniest 
thing when he told that story. Of this idea that the zebra is hanging out with the antelope and being all nice and everything. Until the first sign of danger. And then they're like kicking all their friends in the heads and leaving them behind. So it was very much the idea in my mind as a fair weather friend that you know we've all experienced friends in our lives that we thought were friends that they cared about us that they were looking out for our best interest but for the first opportunity something else came up uh that they had no problem kicking you in the head and leaving you for the lions so we've just adopted this phrase in our community that don't be a zebra I mean, zebras are nice, but they can they 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 can be a little fair weather friend sometimes. So, yeah, I'll have to pull that video up and uh, play it again sometimes one of our old earlier streams and uh, live streams. That's a good idea, Bob. Like, you know, well, we don't have, we're gonna hunt the antelope, but always hunt antelope that are around zebras. Use their natural habitats against them. Like, we're gonna pretend to chase the zebras, but in reality, we're gonna wait for them to knock an antelope out. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So, I haven't heard a uh, slinky move, so. Sad. It's a great ride. So if we, uh, if we were to create some uh, Ear to Ear Magic t-shirts for On Demand, you know, I think having a uh, Don't Be a Zebra shirt might be necessary. Maybe a Yeti, 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 Yeti. We could even put Liberty's drawing. Matter of fact, if you guys are part of the Magic Cast crew, if you've ever used the Yeti emoji that was actually drawn and created by my daughter, Liberty. Hey, we are on our way to trying to reach 29,500 Magic Crew members. Today with 29,424. And if you're watching today for the first time, we want you guys to be a part of the group. We want you guys to enjoy chatting with and being someone that can walk into the chat and have everyone go, hey, is there ready and glad you're here. So. Don't be afraid to jump into the chat and say hello, but whatever you do today, guys, don't leave without walking out. Only after you've hit the subscribe button. We don't want you guys to lose us and not be able to find us later. 
as we stream in the parks every Monday through Friday. Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando Resort. We are a family friendly stream. I'm surrounded by families. I'm surrounded by children who come to see the magic and my job as a streamer and my job as a travel agent is to make sure that that magic is maintained and that the kids get to enjoy their time with their friends and family. So we keep our talk and our chat friendly for all to speak in. So thank you for helping us maintain that on your side as well. Let's do a walk by of our characters over here in the Disney Junior area. Fancy Nancy's out. Vampirina. Oh, thank you, Opie Mama. Liberty taught herself how to crochet. And she loves to do it. She recently received a really cool package from someone in our magic crew. Sent her yarn sent her some wool. She got so excited when she saw the wool. I heard her from across the place. She's like, this is real wool. And I'm like, what? So most of her free time she spends crocheting, free pattern, free hand. So Darth Vader, Chewbacca, BB-8. <laughs> exactly, Dopey Runner. Yeah, Jeremy, uh, we changed the emojis out. What happens is uh, we only allowed so many emojis at a time based upon how many Magic Crew casts we have. So as people um, maybe do not renew their memberships and the number total number go down, sometimes we lose slots and uh, we have to change out emojis every so often. So as we increase, we can keep more into the mix all the time, but. Yeah, Tiana, our website is not working. Our website uh, had a major crash and uh, we're having to uh, get something worked on it. We wanna get it back up and running one day. Thing, we should go into the Disney Junior Dance Party. We've not done that in a while. And some of you guys might not know what it is or what it, and how it works. The next showing is at 2.10. So in 20 minutes. So... We'll go in in just a moment. We'll sit at the back. We're not going to take you up, take up anybody's space. Or anybody's area but we'll go in there and show you guys what the, the Disney Junior Dance Party is before we go in there though I wanted to point out another thing um, oftentimes people will ask how do you know if everything's back to the parks like it was before 2020 I already mentioned two locations here at Disney's Hollywood Studios that did not have not reopened since four years ago uh, basically today and tomorrow uh, one of them, of course, was the Christmas store over there. Two, the Muppet location outside of Muppets 3D. The other one is our studio store right here. 
Uh, the studio store has been closed for four years. It used to be a location. In addition to our little gift shop right here that sold Little Mermaid stuff, princess materials, uh, and things that had to do with many of the Disney Junior characters that are out here for meet and greets. Um, so uh, again, we're getting 1900 Park Fair open, but it's still, it's still weird for me to have certain little bitty shops here and there that I was so accustomed to beforehand that's still not available today. Julie B, thank you so much for being a Magic Crew cast for five months. Thank you so very much. Oh, Missy Mouse, we loved Bear. We had Bear, in, uh, we had uh, Bear in the Big Blue House um, DVDs. Uh, for special episodes um, and uh, we also had a, a very a very special friend of ours make us and burn us some uh, DVDs of episodes that, so we could watch them uh, in the car and at one point we had lost cable for a bit for whatever reason I cannot remember now and uh, so that our kids weren't missing out with Big Bear in the, Bear in the Big Blue House uh, she actually burned a bunch of episodes for us so that we could watch them on the regular and uh, our kids loved it. Now, as uh, Liberty's gotten older, she shared with me after the fact, you know, a decade later that the um, the moon and the goodbye song freaked her out a little bit. I did not know that when she was little, but the rest of the show was great. All right, we're gonna jump in, uh, jump in line and we're gonna I really want to stay at the back. We do not want to take up any space for families. So we'll just kind of watch it from the back end. They haven't opened the doors yet, so I think we're going to wait till they open the doors. We'll come over here, we'll watch the doors to open, and then we'll jump in and check out the Disney Junior Dance Party. We haven't seen that in a while. Is there anything Bluey related other than a little bit of merch? No. Unfortunately, they haven't brought Bluey to the parks yet. Really shocked. Hey, Tyler. We spent a lot of time here for Jake and the Neverland Pirates. It's funny, Disney Lisa, because we were just after. I mean, by the time Jake came into play, we had just like edged out of the the preschool and the Disney Junior era. So it's like we knew of Jake, but we never really watched Jake. He was that was the transition period, if that makes sense. Uh, does Liberty have a favorite Disney movie or character or Harry Potter house? Um, I make project bags for my daughter and her friends to encourage their love of crafting. Opie Mama, her, her latest uh, love of characters um, is actually um, one of the characters from San, San Rio. You know, the, the Hello Kitty um, company. And uh, it is the bunny rabbit that dresses like a goth bat. And I don't, I don't get it either. Uh, but the uh, character's name is Kuromi. That's K-U-R-O-M-I, Kuromi. And she loves Kuromi. So for her uh, birthday and Christmas last year, we got her uh, some a Kuromi backpack and some other items. But that's her favorite character at the moment. Yeah, you're right, Sue Ann Cook. They, uh, they can only air the shows. They don't have any other rights to Bluey, so. Which is really weird. Um, 
when you think about the fact that, you know, they have broadcasting rights, but they also are the ones who have the shows tweaked and modified. Um, there's, you know, been about, what, four or five examples of them changing the shows before they're broadcast here uh, just because of, uh, they didn't feel that it didn't uh, translate well from Australian television to uh, American television. Yeah, so Bluey's Australian. I think Bluey's breed, the dog breed, is also Australian too, right? So this line was pretty empty just a few minutes ago. Now the show's getting ready to open up. It starts in 13 minutes. So they'll be opening up the doors here in about three minutes or so. We'll jump in at the back. Pluto's gonna go see the show. Pluto wants to see the show. Oh, Pluto, you can, you can, you should see the show. He wants to, good dog. Good boy, he wants to see it. He just wanted to see the dance party. I bet Pluto could do some dancing done. <laughs> That's true, Molly. Disney owns everything. Here comes Vampirina. So if you guys would just pop it in, we are live here at Disney's Hollywood Studios here today. Um, we are at the Playhouse Disney Dance Party. Figured we haven't seen it in a while. I'm waiting for the doors to open. And uh, we'll slip it into the back so we can watch the show. And not get in the way of anybody having a dance time. But right before the show starts, all the characters are coming through. Pluto just walked by, Vampirina's walking by. Here comes Fancy Nancy. She's looking rather superfluous today. All right, the door's just open, so. It's also air conditioned, parents. If that makes any difference at all. How did it go, Josh? Feel good about it? That's good. Well, you survived it, Josh. All right, so they just uh, brought in the uh, lightning lane, so we'll start letting the rest of the guests in now. I'm 
sure you know, Josh, it's all about how you know and how you can connect. So making those connections makes a huge, huge difference. Yes, we are looking at a wall here, guys. <laughs> Everybody's a parent right now. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh. I have I have three and I've had so many instances with my daughter walking around with a stranger's hand. She looks over to me and she goes, nope, nope, not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Take khaki shorts, huh? Yeah, that helps. Dad shoes and, and shorts do it every time. Put those back out. Oh, it's Fancy Nancy. Hi, Nancy. This is where we're going. We're heading into the dance, the dance party, the Disney Junior Dance Party. So, show you guys what it looks like. We haven't done it in a while. <laughs> She's like, wait, I'm going this way. Like not in the shade. It's like I'm solar powered. <laughs> I have danced in other past versions of this branch, but probably not today. What's up, families? Once again, we want to be close to this space when our Disney Junior friends get here. So we have a new room in front of you. Go ahead and scoot up to the person in front of you. We want to be close when our Disney Junior friends get here. Can I stay here? Yes. 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 I would have rushed the stage for Big Bear in the Big Blue House. Okay, uh, first of all, hidden Mickey up in the top. You can see that. A lot of Mickeys around here, but you know, you can see that one as well. You can also see the hidden Mickey and the disco ball. What's up, my junior playmates? How you doing today? You feeling good? Oh, yeah, that's what I like to hear. I'm curious, how many fans of Disney Junior do we have in the house today? Let me hear you! Well, today is a big day. I'm glad you're here because our Disney Junior friends are going to be Oh, the 
square move, it goes like this. The yes. pivot move. Thank you. Thank you for those pity claps. Clearly, I'm not the best dancer, but I know you're better than me. I want to see you dance today. Is there anybody out here who's brave enough to teach us a brand new dance move? Oh, you can't wait. Right up. Okay, stand up right where you are. I'm going to count you in. You ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, 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 yeah. She just did a cartwheel in the audience. The Caroline dance. Give it up for the Caroline dance. Oh, that was amazing. You're like an acrobat. That was so cool. All right, we got another dancer way out here with the Mickey ears on. Go ahead. That, yeah, that's you. Stand up right where you are. Oh, oh wow. I like it. Come on, everybody, give it up for the spinning. That's the way your party started. All right, we got another dancer right here in the yellow shirt. Go ahead and stand up, my friend. I'm going to count you in. Hold on. Here it comes. One, two, three, go. Oh, yes. Yes, I love this. Oh, come on. You got it. You ready for the party. What do you call this dance, my friend? The wiggle giggle. I love it. Come on, give it up for the wiggle giggle. We got some dancers today. I think we have time for one more. Right in the middle here, my friend, with the mini ears on. Mini ears on. Go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna count you in. Wait for it. Here it comes. One, two, three, go! Whoa! Hey! Oh! Oh! Look at those high kicks. You run like a rocket. This is amazing. Wow! What do you call that dance? Exasperate. The foot swing. I like it. Come on, give it up. I did not know we had professional dancers in the audience today. I think we should put some of these moves in the show. What do you guys think? Yeah! Okay, okay, we had the Caroline dance. I don't know if I can do that one. That was a good one. We had the spinning, we had the wiggle, giggle, and the foot swing. Oh, these are good moves. But hey, you know what I was thinking? Since y'all are such great dancers, what if one of our Disney Junior friends get here? We asked them to teach us some dance moves. Yeah? Well, think about it. What if we learned how to dance? From Van Parina. Okay, we got some fans. What if we learn how to dance? From Doc Nick Stuffins. What if we learn how to dance? From Timon. Only the parents do that one. All right. What if we learn how to dance? From Rosa Racer, Mickey Mouse. to teach us some dance moves, and let's see what we get to learn today. But first, we gotta let them know where we are. They're right behind this stage, and they don't know the best party in the world's out here. So we gotta get loud. We're gonna do a wave around this whole room. I'm gonna wave my hands, scream and shout. You gotta do the same. Come on, let's let them know where we are. Here we go. One, two, three. That is what I'm talking about. That man just Lion King his baby. That was amazing. Come on, let's get this party started. I need all the kids to stay Right now, we all gonna dance and show them some of the best dance movies this world has ever seen. Everybody, get your hands up. Let's raise the roof. Oh, yeah, we got a hard crowd. What's going on over here? Look at that. There's so many people here right now. It's quite amazing. Come on, everybody. Let me see if you can spin it. Started. You know how to dance, 
but you know how to play. And it's time to meet our first with me, Junior friend. You know how we're making a difference by being different. Let's give it up for Bill Aubrey.
I don't even know what that means. All this dancing's got me hungry. That's why we're playing the hot dog song. Who likes hot dogs? Good, that dance like Mickey, come on. Oh my God, you all know this dance, that's pretty good. But here's the hardest part. Oh, you got it. Okay, let's do it like Minnie now. Oh my God, you got that too. Oh, that's a quick one. But we gotta be gentle and graceful. Here we go. Now like Donald. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's like the foot swing dance. Oh, I could do that all day. So I'm tired. It's time to go, go, go. Oh, but I don't mean leave. Go, go, go can only mean one thing here. That it's time to meet the speedster himself. You better give it up. One more one and only road to race. Mickey Mouse! Oh yeah! What's up, buddy? Everybody say, what's up, Mickey? Disney Junior Dance Party. It's a guaranteed 10 minutes of air conditioning for parents sitting on the ground and letting your kids do all the work. It's a parenting, just piece of heaven in the parks. So put it on your list if you've got little ones who are in that mode. They love Vampirina, Doc McStuffins, the Mickey Racers, and they need a chance to get a little bit of the zoomies out in the middle of the park day. You just spent the last hour and a half standing in line, waiting to ride Slinky Dog. They need to get the wickles out. It's a great space to do it.
okay? Yeah, we were sitting behind you at that Art of Animation. Oh, did you get you guys drew the owl as well? We drew the yeah. Owl right behind you. Awesome. You guys having a good day so far? Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Awesome. Well, where are you guys visiting from? Uh, Tampa. Tampa. Oh, so I mean, very far away. Yes. Very hours, far away. hours and hours away. Yes. Well, it's cool that we can run into you guys. So, where are you going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to be in Epcot. Oh, Epcot. Do we want to do Epcot? I think we're going to go to Aquatica. Oh, you're going to do some water parks. Yeah, relax. Nice. Cool off. It's going to be a good day for that. It's going to be yeah. warm tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. High of 89. So ear to ear. Ear to ear magic. Oh, we're here in the parks so between here and Universal away. every weekday. Oh, nice. So if ever you guys have a like a school day and people get a little bored yeah. or maybe during lunch, put us on the big screen and yeah, we'll check you out. Hot dogs we'll and subscribe. put them on the screen. Hey. Lock yourself in the bedroom. We, have some time. You might hear us behind you at that ear or the, uh, at the at the animation experience. Yeah. <laughs> we love to do it. Good to run into I you guys. Oh, yes, yeah, not too far away. Thanks. I love going to Tampa. You guys have a great day. Awesome. We get to meet all kinds of cool people in the parks, even some who are just around the corner, and just around the river bend. Uh, Timon, random in the show. Well, let me kind of give you a. a, a a reason for that. Yeah. Do you guys remember, some of you may remember a show called The Lion Guard? The Lion Guard was at one point a Disney uh, junior show. And uh, at that point, uh, Timon was coming in to help sing and dance with The Lion Guard. But since then, uh, the Lion Guard is no longer a show that's watched or I think aired uh, and uh, they just kept him in the show and uh, removed the Lion Guard part but he already knew all the moves so you know they hated to tell him he couldn't be in just because the show is no longer aired but if that helps it makes it make a little more sense the Lion Guard I like the Lion Guard it was cute Hopi Mama says, oh my goodness, the Lion Guard was my middle's favorite. Not gonna lie, I may have the theme song in my in my library. Just saying. I might. Oh, that's cool, Marianne, that you guys got to experience the Star Cruiser. It's kind of weird sometimes when you, you know little trivia about stuff like that, but yeah. He was, he was there as a representative of the Lion Guard. So I'm gonna try to take you guys in here. The last couple of times, for some reason, the signal drops. And if it does today, I'll jump back out, but we'll see. I wanted to show you guys, there was at one point in this back left-hand corner, Uh, when the wall came back down, instead of a new register, they just made it into more shelves. So they made less registers, more space for merchandise. sale for the mean for the short term period for 99 oh there goes our signal I went too far in our stitch plush with the weights in it I don't know what it is about this building but about 
two months ago, it was just impossible sometimes for us to, to stream in here. Um, look, it's the Fox and the Hound. All three seasons of The Lion Guard are on Disney Plus. Awesome, thank you, Quarry. I'm gonna come back over now that the signal came back. Let's see if it goes away again. It's a weighted plush, you guys know. Two and I think it's two and a half pounds of uh, bean bag inside the weight. Uh, inside the middle of this plush. Makes it really heavy uh, for those uh, with uh, sensory. Um, it sometimes really helps for those who have uh, sensory needs. So they can hold it, they can put it on their chest and oftentimes makes them feel a lot more comfortable. They have a stitch one. But yeah, this used to be a register over here and now it's just more merchandise. Ashton says it was my 60 days today. Did you get everything for your advanced dining reservations? One of the best shirts they have on property right now. Weighted blankets, yes. Weighted blankets and plushies are a really good thing for so many. It's awesome that they have things available. Especially in their favorite characters, even, so. Awesome, Ashton. Also means your countdown's getting closer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Um, the alarm just went off or on whichever way you want to use the English language today I am going to close out just a little bit early because I was up late last night about 1 30 editing that uh, nice short that hopefully you guys might have seen if you haven't seen it go check it out either on YouTube Instagram threads or TikTok under ear to ear magic of the experience of Navi's workshop where you get to create your own. Thank you to Tony, Dean, and Nick for allowing me to join you guys last night so that I can see it. It was a lot of fun to see. And I uh, hope that if you guys are interested in that, let us know if that's something we can help you um, to book when you book your next vacation. Uh, when you come up to your time and window, uh, we can assist you with getting those reservations as well. And though we uh, do Disney, Universal, and Cruises, we are not limited to it, but uh, we certainly do know our stuff when it comes to those parks and cruise lines. So when you guys um, are ready to put down your reservations and start getting your countdown like Ashton does, I want you guys to consider letting us be your Travel Mation travel agents. Um, you guys know where we're gonna be at every single weekday. You know where we can get a, 
uh, some information when you need it and you know that the information is coming from people who've done it, seen it, been there and uh, put it in their pocket. So um, reach out and let us know how we can help you when it comes to your 2024, 2025 and 2026 vacations. His cruises, some of them were able to start planning all the way out to 2026 at this point. And like we mentioned earlier today, Disney Cruise Line next week is opening it up their 2025 Disney Cruise Line summer itinerary. So if you are a Castaway Key member, we can help you guys at the first of next week. If you've never sailed Disney Cruise Line before, we can start uh, on Friday, March 22nd. So send us an email today, guys. Let us know how we can help you guys out. And I know there's already been a few of you who have already reached out to us to say, we're ready to book Disney Cruises for next year. So thank you for the support and for allowing us to take care of our families by helping to take care of yours for your vacation. So thanks for the emails, guys. And uh, I think at this point, we've been talking about um, some new goals we had um, as a travel agent this year. And uh, thanks to you guys, I'm, I'm, I think we're about able to announce that um, we're getting close to reaching 30% of our goals for this year. So, uh, and that's all thanks to everybody in the Magic Crew. So we appreciate you guys. To uh, our mods, thank you for putting up with us and for being a part of our crew and taking care of our crew on a regular basis. When you guys see those blue wrenches in the chat, they're here to help you guys out. Um, they're not here to yell. They're not here to be mean. They're not here to yell at rules or nothing like that. They really are just to help you guys have a better experience. So, um, and uh, we appreciate every single one of our moderators for all that they do for our channel. So thank you much. So guys, as we close out today, we want you guys to always do three things every day when you can think about it. And it's a very important to us that we take care of others. We take care of our community and we are always uh, a positive influence upon others. Um, and that's to do these three things. Share a laugh, share a smile, share a compliment. But whatever you do, be the sunshine in somebody else's day. Because sometimes their cloudy days just need a little bit of you to help them get it through. So thank you guys so much for all that you do for us from ear to ear magic. If you are a patron over on patreon.com, we want you guys, don't forget, we've got our chat is always open and uh, you guys can continue to chat with each other, share photos with one another and keep in touch with each other. Anytime you need to reach out and say hello, somebody in the chat is going to say hello back. So check it out. Patreon.com slash ear to ear magic. And, uh, as always, guys, have an awesome afternoon. Tomorrow morning, we will be finishing up our weekday streams this week with our egg extravaganza scavenger hunt over in Epcot. We hope you guys can join us as well. So have an amazing afternoon. And from all of us here at Ear to Ear Magic, have a great day, and we'll see you real soon.